Hey there, Sagittarius. Let's talk about what March, the eclipse season, and the full moon have in store for you. And what a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, right? Not only do we have that, but we also have the equinox. So really, this video isn't just about March. It's about what the coming year has in store for your sign. And this energy has already kind of been brewing anyway, because the Aries and Libra eclipses started last year in 2023. And they've been happening in your 11th house and 5th house sectors, which is the communities and the people you surround yourself with. And over here, that 5th house, which deals with the things that you need to really be proud of who you are, stand in your light, shine in your light. It's about the things that make you happy, the things that light you up. It's about fun. It's about romance. And it's also about the children in your life. And so when we have these eclipses happening, they're trying to draw out the old outdated systems in both of these friends, kids, organizations around you, the things that keep you happy, the being proud of who you are, all those things that are keeping those things from functioning properly, right? Or being true and authentic to who you are. They need to be let go of. And so what happens at these time of the eclipses, and that first one that we have is going to be on March 25th at the time of the full moon, it shines a light on where these areas aren't working, the outdated systems in them that need to be released and what needs to change to bring it forward. Because I tell you, as this year moves forward, it's trying to bring you new beginnings with the kids. It's Maybe you're starting a family. Maybe you are going through a phase where your kids are uh, growing themselves. And maybe it's a situation where they're going from you know, elementary school to middle school, or they're graduating from high school, they're graduating from college. And that frees up that fifth house for you to be able to explore more of what makes you happy. You know, a lot of times what happens is we focus on the needs of others and we forget about what it is that makes us happy. And for you, Sagittarius, maybe that's traveling. Maybe this is a year where you're able to start to travel more because you're, uh, you know, not so tied down with the needs of the kids over here, right? Maybe that's one way of looking at it. But another way of looking at it too is things in general that are holding you back from being happy about who you are. It's about being able to enjoy life, finding your creativity again. Maybe you're starting to explore new hobbies and find things that really bring you joy and happiness and in life, right? Because the more that we do that, the more that we live our authentic life. Absolutely. Now on that 11th house side, this is a big thing anyway with the spring equinox, which is all about new beginnings anyway. It's the beginning of the new astrological year. So for it to hit in this sector for you, this is huge. It's shining a light on the communities that you are in, the physical community you live in, the place that you work at, the place that you worship at, the friends that you have as a circle around you, the online communities that you belong to, and where you spend your energy and your time. Now, with that, that comes to light in these energies of this full moon and the equinox as well. And the eclipses, right? Where are these areas not working for you anymore? Maybe they worked 10 years ago when this eclipse cycle happened, but these eclipses work in 10 year intervals. And now it's starting to say, maybe you've outgrown that. Maybe it's time to move past these people. Maybe it's time to find some new communities in different ways. Maybe you will find communities of like-minded people online that can support you over here, right? Where you're finding who you are standing up for who it is that you want to be and moving into something, right? Maybe it is a matter of like, you know, maybe you enjoy, find that you enjoy pottery or something and you join a community online of people that do pottery and it expands your life in so many ways. And especially if you've been looking for ways to be happy again, right? This is the power of this year for you. It's trying to bring this shift. It's trying to bring this change. Teamwork makes the dream work. And if you have found that you've been kind of a lone wolf, you know, maybe you have a lot of Aquarius in your chart, that that is the case when you're a Sagittarius, you know, you're really close to Aquarius there. Maybe you do find that you kind of go on your own, do your own thing. These eclipses are going to show you where it doesn't really work. Maybe it's a time frame to start letting people in, accepting that help, being, you know, being there, being there for other people. 
and how it can help you to grow. Absolutely. So keep that in mind that the two weeks leading up to this March 19th to the 25th time frame is going to be like a billboard from the universe on who's around you and where you need to kind of put your energy and your time. And over here on just in general, the things that are going to start lighting you up and bringing you happiness for the remainder of this year. So keep that in mind, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.